Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to stop Microsoft Edge from running in the background. You may have noticed this during a reboot or when running a drive cleaner that you get an error that says Microsoft Edge is running and you're like, but I don't use Microsoft Edge. Yeah, we know. Now this seems a little complicated, but it's not. There's actually two steps. First off, we want to turn off the background app and then we want to either edit the registry or use a registry file or Windows 10 Pro users can actually use group policy edit. Everybody can do the registry file, so let's get rolling. Uh, let's hit your Windows key plus S and start typing in privacy and go to your privacy settings. It'll show up around here somewhere. And when that opens up, scroll on down here to background apps. There it is right there. And when you get to here, scroll down and look for Microsoft Edge and turn that off. Go ahead now and close the control panel and let's start looking at the second steps. What we can do here as mentioned is download the registry file. So we're going to actually go through the process of doing this. Go ahead download, click here when you're impatient like me and close that tab. Now open that up and you see there's two registry files in here so go ahead and extract wherever you like and that is it let's see here so now what you can do is you can right click and select merge on each file or you can double click it and go ahead and put it in now let's take a quick quick look at messing around with the registry itself so copy and paste this right here right click copy once again, press the Windows key plus R and type in regedit and OK. Once regedit comes in, you simply paste that right there and press enter. And that brings you down to main. Now, as you can see, we have two things we want to put in here. Allow pre-launch and allow tab preloading. I already have the allow pre-launch in here, so we're going to go ahead and add allow tab preloading. These steps are exactly the same. Make sure you do both. So you might start thinking now. Yeah, I think I'll download the registry files. So we want to right click over here, do new, D Word 32 bit value, and you're going to name each one. One will be allow pre launch, the other will be allow tab preloading. For both of them now, just double click and make sure the value of data is zero, which it should be, but just verify it. And that's it. Go ahead and reboot, and that should take care of the loading. So that's it for everybody, Windows 10 Home Pro. If you don't find a lot of these keys in here, they should be there, but make sure you're updated to the latest Windows update of Windows 10. We do bump into problems with some of these guides where people aren't up to date, they can't find it, and that's usually why sometimes things change in the feature updates. Now, let's take a look further down for those of you who have Windows 10 Pro. What we want to do, as you can see right here, is press the Windows key plus R. And we want to type in, where to go, gpedit.msc. Well, let's try and actually type it now. My mouse is moving around. gpedit.msc. Boom. Now we got to navigate through, as you can see, computer configuration administrative templates, Windows components, and we should be able to find, we'll move this over here so we can see it, Microsoft Edge. Now, your best bet here because of how long these descriptions are, it looks like uh, we made a mistake in here, but no, we didn't. They're actually allow Microsoft Edge to pre-launch at Windows Startup when system is idle, and each time Microsoft Edge is closed. So there's gonna be, once again, two of these, and you want to list the setting button right here. Click that so it lists it alphabetical. Then we, you can't miss them. See how long they are? There is allow Microsoft Edge to pre-launch at Windows Startup. And down below here we mention this one. So there's two of them, just like the registry. So what you want to do on these is click each one of them. Make sure the policy is set to enabled. Now, once again, as you see, I already did one of them here. It's already enabled. So we'll go to the other one, just like we did in the registry. And you're going to want to enable and then prevent pre-launch, as shown here. So let's do that with the second one right here. 
Now configured is your default. Double click that. Enabled. And then right here, prevent tab preloading. Apply. OK. Now you notice they're both enabled and they're both set to pre-launching. So again, it, it seems a little complicated because, you know, it's Windows. So you've got Home, you've got Pro. I recommend you just jump to the registry if you're not sure. It's easy enough to do. Again, but Windows 10 Pro users, as you saw, that was a lot faster than editing the registry. So we have an advantage if you're using Windows 10 Pro. That should do it. Make sure you reboot. We will put this video, I'm sorry, this web page on the description of the video so that you can click to this if you want to follow some of the pictures and just read through or if you want to download the registry files and do it that way as the video comes to a close down in the bottom right corner is a little button that says subscribe we would appreciate that we've got a lot of new subscribers lately and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that and for you guys coming by and watching our videos thank you very much see you next time